can I use the IPF for, IP Explorer for a different PLC product? Michael, fire up the tall tables, please. If you didn't know what the tall tables is, a section here <laughs> that has uh, it has a few different uh, devices. But we're going to go on the IPE. This is a PLC tool sim IPE. And we're just going to go to Discover Device. And so what it's doing right now is those same broadcast packets it's actually listening for. Now, where is Factory Talk Links and RS Links? They do Ethernet IP. This actually does Ethernet IP. It also listens for Profinet and Gig E and does a few other things to help you discover it. So it's discovered 47 devices out on the network. And so, yeah, let's just take a moment to go through them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the OK button. That's going to let me filter. And then since you're asking about different brands, I'm going to sort by name. That'll get them at least sort of by kind of model number. All right, so first, I have got to find this device. It's been wandering around my network for a couple months now, and I haven't been able to find it. But I, I have a device somewhere here that is does not have an IP address aside. And um, now, I can tell up here that it's probably not an industrial device. When we get to an industrial device, I'll show you why. And then we have an ARP entry. And so your ARP entries are typically computers or devices that don't support industrial protocols. So I know that 192.168.2200 is a PC. And so uh, that is, that's what that's going to look like. So, now, here's an Allen Bradley item or Rockwell. I don't know if I'll ever get used to calling them Rockwell. But so if you notice on the MAC address, the beginning of your MAC actually tells you what it is. So the reason it's alternating between the beginning of the MAC and Rockwell is that is the code for Rockwell. But so there's a 1734, and yeah, it's a Rockwell device. There's another 1734. There's a 1756. That's a Control Logix. There's a 1766. That's a Micrologix 1400. There's a 1769. That's a Compact Logix. That's a 2080. That's a Micro 850. There's another Micro 850. There's another Micro 850. There's another Micro 850. There's a Micro 820. Another Micro 820. All right, this is a 2198. That's a Kinetics Drive. There's another 2198. And then we have a 2711. Yes, all the Rockwells are grouped together because their model numbers are kind of similar. That is a PayW800. There's a 440C. That's going to be a Rockwell CR30 safety relay. And there's a 5032. That is a um, IO link module by Rockwell. And we should be all right. Now we're getting out of the Rockwell. So this is what a Balaf or Baloof, depending on how you believe in pronouncing it, this is what their IO link would look like. This right here is a Banner DXM. Well, that's pretty obvious. That is a Banner DXM because it says it right there. There's a second Banner DXM. So that's these are IO link modules by Banner Engineering. So that's um, a Compact Guard Logics from Allen Bradley. There's another Compact from Allen Bradley. Here's another one from Allen Bradley. Oh, yeah, that's right, because the tall tables that also get those there. There's an E300 from Allen Bradley. Okay, and here's all that to get to something like this. If you notice, it's alternating up here. This is a Siemens device. So this is over Profinet. This is an ET200SP. Yes, I know Siemens people, you have Proneta, but you can't take Proneta and see Ethernet IP devices. Uh, there's a Fin20. This is what a Turk IO link module looks like. So, you know, they, it's only what they report. It's all we get. So we can tell it's a Turk by the Mac, and then they just report their model number. IO Link Master. This, I'm not going to mention this. Well, well, I guess I am going to mention this brand because it says it up there. But IFM would be great if you could report a little bit better right there. You got an awesome IO Link module, but yeah, IO Link Master doesn't tell us a lot. Um, there's PowerFlex 525. These are Allen Bradley Rockwell. There you go. I would never be able to say Allen Bradley. I mean, Rockwell. Uh, that's an SC210. So here's a banner device. So we can see up there on the Mac is telling us it's a banner. And then, okay, so here are more Siemens devices. These are Ethernet switches. I kind of feel Siemens kind of has the best Ethernet switch for the money. So that's why you're going to see a lot of those up through there. And then my mind is going blank on what a TB. Oh, that's a Turk. This is another IO link. And there's a Yamaha. This is a robot controller from Yamaha. Probably the easiest to integrate robot out on the market with a Allen Bradley PLC. 
That's a linear actuator by Yamaha. And, oh, I don't even know where, okay. That's really interesting. I have no idea what's going on there, but okay, this is making a DHCP request for a really specific IP. That's interesting. But yeah, so I've got a couple I need to nail down on that. 